All right, good afternoon and welcome to Master Talker Online class today. Uh, we'll be solving this simple question before we go into uh, circle, okay? Circle as, um, as a coordinate geometry. Okay, so now the question says we should find the area of the triangle whose vertices are, you know, vertex is the singular, vertices is the plural. Whose vertices are this, this, and this. That is 4,1, 2,2, and 0, 0,5. And I told you to find the area of a triangle, you have 1 over 2, then the matrix of 4 and 1, 2 and 2, 0 and 5. Then complete it with 1, 1, 1. Okay? So that it will be 3 by 3 matrix. And I told you the, the only thing you do is to find the determinant of this matrix. Okay? How do you find the determinant of this matrix? By saying plus, minus, plus. And I told that everybody at this first line is just for picking okay they, they don't do another work apart from picking so the first one i'll pick four if i pick four then everybody under four is out so i'm left with what one two three four remember i don't touch this first line this first line is just for picking okay so i picked this one everybody under him is out so i'm left with two one five this i'll do left from left first right left minus right that is cross multiply but I must start from left. This time this, I'm have what? 2 minus. This time this, I'm having what? 5. I will close. Then I'm, the next thing I'm picking is what? Minus 1. Open bracket again. Since I picked this one, everybody under that, my, under that minus 1 is out. I'm left with 2, 1, 0, 1. So I'll do left again before right. 2 times 1, 2 minus. This time this is what? 0. Then last one I'm picking is plus 1. Open bracket again. Everybody under this one, that plus one I picked is out. I'm left with 2, 2, 0, 5. So left before right. This time is I'm having what? 10 minus 2 times 0, 0. You close. And that is all. So my answer becomes 1 over 2 bracket, 4 into minus 3, minus 1 into 2, plus 1, plus 1 into 10. So my answer becomes 1 over 2 bracket, minus 12 minus 2 plus 10 so what do i have minus 14 plus 10 will give me minus 4 so 1 over 2 bracket minus 4 so what do i have minus 2 and that is that as simple as that so the next thing we go into is circle let's talk about circle what is a circle okay a circle is not the if you're asked to define a circle a circle is not something that is round. If you say that a circle is something that is round, what about a sphere? A sphere is round. So how do you define a circle? A circle is defined as the locus of all points equidistance from a fixed point. So let's define a circle. A circle, okay, uh, is the locus of all points, all points, that is S, Y, okay? Uh, equal distance or equidistance equidistance you can call it equidistance so you call it equal distance from a fixed point and that fixed point is the center of the circle okay which is let's call it h and k okay this uh, equal distance is what the center of the circle so which means if I have this is the center of the circle, uh, let me have a circle like this. So let's assume that this thing is a circle. Okay, uh, this center of a circle, let we call it h comma k. A circle is a is any shape in which anywhere you stand on this circumference, okay, to this uh, this uh, fixed point must be equal. That is when you conclude that that shape is a circle. So we decide to stand here. If we stand here, let's call it x comma y. This is the point we decide to stand. Okay, and the distance between the center of a circle to any point of the circumference is called the radius. Don't forget. Okay, now let us find the distance between these two points. To find the distance between these two points, I, I'm having that the distance is r. So I'm having r squared is equal to what? Uh, x minus h all squared plus y minus k all squared. Okay, I hope this is how to find this term. This one is called the standard equation of a circle. This is the standard. Is this the standard? 
No, this one is the main equation of the or the normal. Let's call it the main equation. Now, let's decide to clear this bracket. Let's decide to clear this bracket. I'm having R squared is equal to what? Uh, you know, I told you in... Okay, if you want to clear two things outside, it's either you did like a baby, X minus H, and another X minus H. You start clearing, or you say, square the first one. Multiply the first one and the second one, double it, square the last one. If you can say it, you can do it. Square the first one. Multiply the first one and the second one, double it, square the last one. So, square the first one, I'm having x squared. Multiply the first one and the second one, I'm having minus hx. Double it, I have minus 2hx. Square the last one, I'm having plus h squared. So, clear, do the same thing here again. Square the first one, y squared. Multiply the first one and the second one, minus ky. Double it, I'm having minus 2 ky. Square the last one, I'm having plus what? k squared. So, let's arrange it very well. To so have r squared is equal to what? x squared plus y squared minus 2hx minus 2ky, okay, plus h squared plus k squared, uh, okay. Uh, let, me, if we, let me bring everybody here. Minus r squared is equal to zero. So now, I decided to bring all the constant to one side. Let's equate it to zero. This one is called the general equation of a circle. This one is the general. Uh, we don't normally use this one all the time, but this this one is very important. This one and the last one. Let me say that all these people without x and y are called constant. Let them be known as one constant c. So let c be equal to just h squared plus k squared minus r squared. So let's now put it. My standard equation is now x squared plus y squared minus 2hx minus 2ky plus c equal to zero. So this is the standard equation of a circle. This one and this one is needed very, very well in solving the equation of a circle. You see how I'm measuring it, and I'm even thinking with it. The equation of a circle is x squared plus y squared minus 2hx minus 2ky plus c equal to zero. So you can, you can think with me. x squared plus y squared minus 2hx minus 2ky plus c equal to zero this is the standard one okay and uh, don't forget that if you want to get the main one it's very simple x always go with h and y always go with k okay i'm having x minus h all squared plus y minus k all squared is equal to the radius r squared okay so that is how to know the main equation so um now how do you know uh, a circle please you know that an equation is a circle only if the coefficient of x squared and y squared are the same. Please, if the coefficient of x squared and y squared are the same, and there is no place where x and y comes together in that equation, then that equation is a circle. What do I mean uh, being the same, being equal, is that if here is 2x squared, here must be 2x squared. If here is 2x squared and here is minus 2x squared, it's no longer a circle. A circle means that the coefficient of x squared and y squared must be the same in every aspect. Okay? And there is no place where you can have x and y joined together. Then that equation is a circle. Uh, the next thing they can ask you to find uh, is the center. Remember the center is h, k, and the radius is what? R. Uh, the next thing you need to find is um, the length of tangent. If there is a tangent to this circle, there's a tangent to this circle. Uh, the length of tangent, length. The length of tangent is um, is L, which is equal to the square root, okay? The square root of uh, X minus H all squared plus Y minus K all squared minus R squared, okay? So please, you need to know this one. This is the length of tangent. I think these are the few things they can ask you in circle. So let's solve some questions that are related to uh, uh, circle. Okay, so now the first question we're going to solve is um, okay, they said uh, given given the circle Given the circle x squared 
x squared plus y squared minus 10x minus 12y plus 6 equal to 0. Then I said find find the i center find the center find the center i i the radius find the center and the radius okay i i i find okay Okay, so they say find the length. Where is the length? Okay, find the the length of tangent tangent of the circle to the line to the line to the line um 3x minus 4y minus 13 equal to zero okay so we are asked to find this sorry okay Okay, so let's find the, let's find this. So to find the center and the radius, we can do a uh, completing the square method. We have two methods of finding it. Okay, the first method is by using the formula method, which says x squared plus y squared minus 10x minus 12y plus 6 equal to 0. Now compare it with this. If you look at it, this is the standard. This is x squared plus y squared. They always give you an equation in the standard form minus 2hx minus 2ky plus c equal to 0. So comparing these two things, I'm having that minus 2hx is equal to minus 10x. This go to this, this go to this, this go to this. And minus 12y, sorry, minus 2ky is equal to minus 12y. And c is equal to 6, is it not? So x cancelling x minus taking care of minus, I'm having that h is equal to 10 divided by 2 which is 5. Y taking care of Y and minus taking care of minus, I'm having that K is equal to 12 divided by 2, which is what, 6. And I'm having that C is 6. Now, we tell them that the center, the center, which is H comma K, is equal to what? Is equal to um, 5 comma 6. Okay? Then the radius, I know that C is equal to what? H squared plus K squared minus R squared. So let's substitute 6 is equal to h is what? 5 squared plus 6 squared minus r squared. Color like terms. This one move here, this one move here. So r squared becomes uh, uh, 25 plus 36 minus 6. So r squared is equal to what? 55. So the radius is now the square root of uh, 55. Okay? The radius is now the square root of. 55. So, um, we are going to solve this thing with completing the square method. Okay, that's another method of solving it if you don't want to use this formula method. So, let's solve by completing the square method. In completing the square method, uh, let's bring them together. This is x squared minus 10x together plus y squared minus 12y together is equal to minus 6. Okay. Now, we are going to complete this one and complete this one. And completing the square method said, find half of the coefficient of x, square it and add it to both sides. That's all. So what do we do? Repeat, find half of the coefficient of x. So half of this, half of the coefficient of x here is 10. Then we do what? Square it, then carry it and add to both sides. So half of 10 is 5. So I'm having x squared minus 10x plus 5 squared. Okay, plus, let's do the same thing here. 
find half of the coefficient of y, square it and add it to both sides. So I'm, have, I'm going to have what? y squared minus 12y uh, plus what? Plus uh, 6. 6 squared, because half of 12 is 6. Okay? Uh, is equal to minus 6 is already a plus. Since I added to this side, I must add to this side. Since I added to this side, I must add to this side. So what do we do? I'm going to take x. Please, always take the sign of this one here. x minus 5. But on a normal, it's supposed to be the coefficient here, minus 5. So that it will be minus 5 squared. Okay? Uh, but uh, let's make it like this. So you... In fact, let's do it that way. The coefficient is minus 5. So it should be minus 5 all squared. And here should be minus 6 all squared. So take these two and put their squared outside, showing that both of them have, uh, uh, have squared plus the same thing here, y and minus 6, putting their squared outside is equal to, if you do everything here, I'm having 55. So if you look at this equation, now this equation is not that main equation, that first one, which is what? x minus h all squared plus what? y minus k all squared is equal to r squared. So let's go. If you compare these two, you have the word minus h is equal to minus 5, comma, minus k is equal to minus 6, comma, r squared is equal to 55. So minus take care of minus h is equal to 5. Minus take care of minus k is equal to 6. And r is now what? The square root of uh, 55. So which means that what? That the center uh, h, comma, k is what? 5, comma, 6. And then the radius is what square root of 55 okay maybe i'll stop in our next uh, video we'll solve this question uh, thank you very much please repeat resolve ask your question on the comment section i will thank to you bye bye